Hi guys and welcome to or welcome back to my channel. In this video we are going to be reviewing Look Fantastic's May Beauty Box. Now these beauty boxes range between 13 to 15 pound. It just depends on how long the subscription you've picked is. And this one in particular is worth 50 pound. So we are going to get straight into the video and see if we think that it's worth it. Let's get started. All right, I wanna talk about the product that made the most impact on me, the one that I thought was like the most impressive in the entire box, and that is the e-cooking peeling mask. Few things to know about this product. It's basically a chemical peel in a jar, which means you don't wanna step into direct sunlight afterwards. You should probably put it on the night before to give your skin some time to calm down, but it is so intense, you guys. I tried it last night and I'm an idiot. I didn't actually read the front of the product here, so you can see my reaction anyway. Here's what happened. Oh, it's like stinging already. <laughs> I put it on for like a few seconds. Am I turning red? Oh, <gasps> I wiped the patch. I look sunburned. Fuck. Rinse with warm water. Let me wash. Lee, no, I need the bathroom. This is not the time. What the? I need to wash this up. Crap. What is happening? So yeah, it's a it's a very intense product, but I think it definitely works. I felt like my skin looked much tighter and brighter today. I will show you a little clip here now of what my skin looked like this morning. I definitely think it's improved the texture of my skin, felt super soft afterwards. So I'm gonna give this product a massive thumbs up. Let's move on. Up next, we have the Hydra Memory Cream Gel from Comfort Zone. And basically the benefits of this, it's anti-aging, it's anti-inflammatory, and it's antiseptic. It's basically just a day and night cream. It's a 24 hour moisturizing cream for your face and neck. It's highly scented, so I don't think it's 100% kind of natural. I tried it today, I don't know what to say. It's a moisturizer, it's a daily moisturizer. We tend to get one of these in every box, so I'm not complaining, it's fine. We'll give it a thumbs up. Next, we have the Dr. Botanicals Kiwi Superfood Cooling Eye Serum. And it's basically got almost a toner consistency and it comes with a dropper. So you just drop it on your eyes and gently dab it in. It's supposed to reduce fine lines and wrinkles, reduce puffiness, basically have like a calming effect on the under eye area so it's not so irritated, which I guess is like super beneficial considering it's hay fever season. So I tried this last night. It smelled lovely to the point where I was like, this can't be natural. However, it is vegan, cruelty-free, and 98.4% natural, so I'm happy enough with that. In terms of whether it's actually beneficial and if it will work for me, that's something only time will tell. However, I did really like using it last night, so I'll continue to use it. Thumbs up for me. And we continue. So up next, we've got the Burt's Bees Cucumber Mint Lip Balm. I've actually not tried this yet. I'll try it now on camera and see how we go. It smells nice. I've never used Burt's Bees before. I'm like 100% a Blistex girl, like I'm addicted to this stuff, but I'm happy enough to try something new, so let's see. Mm, it feels really nice, it feels really nourishing. I love cucumber and mint. Anything that smells like cucumber and mint, I'm all about it. If you give me a cocktail with cucumber and mint, all about it. I'll continue to use this, maybe we'll give Blistex a break, so thumbs up, let's move on. Next up we have the Vintage Cosmetic Company and we have a silicone exfoliating pad. Now as you can see, I've not taken it out of the packaging. I'm not actually gonna open this and use it because I've tried one similar to this from Sephora. I do think they're really good. However, I don't think they're gonna be as good as the one that I use. I have the Pulse It and kind of, you know, the Lumia thing, if you can see in here. That's what I would use to take my makeup off. And I think this is absolutely brilliant. I've noticed a massive, massive improvement in my skin from using this. However, not that these are bad, I just don't think they're as effective, but I will give it to my sister. Maybe she'd want to use it. So Katie, this is yours. All right, so we have two final products. I'm gonna absolutely fly through them because they're pretty boring. However, one of them did come for free, so grateful for that. We've got a L'Oreal hand sanitizing gel. You know, you can never have enough sanitizer nowadays. I don't really know how to review it. It kills bacteria, it does the job, it gets a thumbs up. Let's move on to the last product. So, lastly we have the hand cream, which I guess is kind of always good to apply after sanitizer so your skin doesn't get really dried out from all the alcohol and the sanitizer. And this one is basically by This Works Stress Check Kind Hands, and it's soothing cream for dry and overwashed hands. A little bit about the product, it's 98% natural, it's got vitamin E, it's got shea butter, and it's basically scented with natural oils like Lang Lang and lavender, so calms the mind, calms the soul, calms the body. 
Mmm, smells lovely. Hand cream will give a thumbs up as well because it smells lovely and it feels really nice and creamy. Alright guys, so that is it for the May Beauty Box review. I definitely do think it was worth the £50. Apart from the moisturiser, we got all full-size products, so no complaints here. Stay tuned for next month where we get our last and final box for June. So thank you so much for watching guys. I will see you in the next one. Stay safe, look after yourselves, goodbye and good luck. Mwah!